Hello and welcome to the Code Community video series. Uh, today we're going to be looking at our newest project which is a Silverlight sample and, and this sample really uh, is, is meant to address a lot of the questions and concerns that our clients have uh, on Silverlight in general. You know, As you know with Silverlight you have the option to, to either render your, your data on the web on the server side, excuse me, and, and tile it down to the client, or you can also uh, transfer your data locally to the client and, and render it all on the client. Uh, so this sample is going to kind of show you the pros and cons of that, as well as show you how to query uh, the data both on the client side and the server side. So let's take a look at this sample really fast. Uh, you know, here you see the state of Texas. We have uh, data for all the airports in Texas, which is this point data here. Uh, and, and that is a, a shapefile which is uh, rendered locally on the client. Uh, you can also go over here and change to the server side with this radio button and you can see all the county data for Texas um, and that is basically a shapefile which is being rendered on the server side and then we're using a WCF service uh, to call back to the server side in order to get all the spatial query to run the spatial query and get all the attribute data that you see here in the pop-up balloon. Uh, you're also able to select you know, various, various tools here and uh, track shapes and, and do various uh, spatial queries on the data as well and you can do that on either the client side or the server side data. So let's go ahead now and close this browser and, and we'll investigate investigate the code and, and try and try and uh, give you an idea of what's going on behind the scenes here. All right. Well, here you can see uh, our solution for this code community sample. And the first thing you'll notice is it's that there are two projects in this solution. Uh, the first project here is uh, the one that you see is the the default project. That's our our web project, and and that has a uh, default ASPX page, which needs to be set as your startup page uh, in order for everything to work well. And and that's the the server side project, and we also have the client side project, uh, which is where you'll have your your client side code for your XAML and everything. Uh, let's go ahead and, and start on the client side, and we'll open this uh, sample.xaml.cs. And, and this this code here is going to look very similar to what you would experience using our desktop edition or WPF edition. Um, you can see here uh, in the constructor, the first thing we do is 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 we have a little bit of code in here to initialize our WCF service. And, and you'll see that WCF service later, used later uh, to do the spatial query against the server side data. Now this next method here is the page loaded. Uh, this is what you'll see typically in any desktop or WCF or excuse me WPF application. Uh, you know we set the maps uh, we set the maps geography unit. Uh, we, we add a WMS overlay and this is going to be our base map for the sample that you saw. The next thing we have is the server layer overlay. Now this is actually adding the the server side county data uh, onto the map and, and we'll show you how that gets created on the ASP page here in just a second. Uh, we also add a layer overlay. This is the client side shape files that were downloaded with the XAP file when you when you run the Silverlight application. And, and this function is really pretty much just like uh, our desktop. And we also have a highlight overlay uh, that we that we use to, for highlighting the, the airports or counties as they're selected. Now the, the first thing I want to talk about here uh, is you notice these two lines of code here where we use the server layer overlay and we specify the name of the overlay and, and this is also the name of the map connector, uh, the Silverlight map connector to use and, and the first thing I want to show you here is if you go to the default ASPX code behind page, this is on the server side and you'll see this is where we, we do like any other web project, we create a shapefile feature layer using our Texas County shapefile. We apply styles to it and then we add it to this new server layer overlay object and we give it a name. And, and this is all the code you need to do on the server side and then what that enables you to do is then on the client side here to basically reference that that overlay and and also reference the map connector that's going to going to tile the results down to the client and add to the map. So so that's just a, a high level overlay of the the loaded event um, and and also just a, a brief look at the server side and client side. I, I think I'm going to do a part two of this video series uh, where we're going to dig a little more into the code and show you how the spatial queries are working uh, both on the client side and server side. And, 